Well, I think um, to one degree you could interpret the um, building and opening of a church in uh, a rural community as um, just um, believers exercising their right to freedom of religious expression or freedom of wor worship. Um, but I think that in, in the context of, of those communities, uh, the church, a church building is also a symbol that uh, directly uh, threatens the, the moral authority of the uh, local, local leaders. Um, a church building, therefore, is not just uh, a, a house of prayer, but also it, it's a political statement of sub subversion. Um, so the people are indirectly saying, even unconsciously, that uh, they no, no longer submit to the authority. Um, of, 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 of the community and, and also refuse to take part in uh, the rituals and, and other uh, traditions of the community. I think it's, it's, it's difficult to isolate it as a religious issue or a political issue. I think it's both. Um, it's definitely a religious issue, but that religious issue should be understood within a context in which um, essential forms of religious expression can be interpreted as um, elements of, of political subversion, yes. So um, you might as well say that it's, uh, it's a political issue. Um, but maybe to expand on that, I feel very strongly that um, this debate is not um, leading us anywhere. Um, it's not really important uh, whether it's a religious issue or a political issue. What's more important is that something is done about the human rights violations, so the torture, the beatings, um, the uh, other other physical assaults that that happen as a result of this, I think that is much more important.